Hello and welcome to another F-22 Total Air War Let's Play video and this is the next mission on the Eritrea tour and it's called 15 Down and in this one we've got to provide air cover for some A-10s and a rescue crew to rescue two F-15 air crews that have been shot down yesterday so let's get in our planes and go 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 if we press shift and M you can get the mini displays up and we're gonna go full power and take off we've got one wing round with us today and I can hear the helicopters in the background they're going to be picking up those pilots that have been down yesterday and we might catch a glimpse of them in a minute we're going to go in a V formation as we're in friendly territory at the moment we've got a slightly unusual loadout today we've got some mavericks on our left wing and some rockets on our right wing and our wingman's got the same combination there we've got some air-to-air -air missiles in our bays now if we look to the left there are four Apaches uh, if we have a look at them they are making their way over the Red Sea so they're going to take some time to get over there and they're just flying over this dock installation and they're providing an escort for these two stallion aircraft and they'll be picking up those pilots and then they're just behind those Apaches If we look ahead, there the A-10 Thunderbolts. They'll be taking out any ground vehicles. And there's four of them. There's the uh, picture of an angry face on the front. And off they go. And we're heading over the Red Sea ourselves. We're at an altitude of 20,000 feet. We've got plenty of fuel. We've got a message that we've got some contacts. I think these are neutral aircraft. Let's have a look at them. These are neutral aircraft, so we shouldn't engage these unless they engage first no, we're not going to waste any missiles on them we're not authorised to engage so they're to our left of us and we're going to waypoint 3 now and over here there's a pair of F-15s these are allied ones I'm going to skip the video until there's a bit of action because there's a fair way to go so we'll see you in a second okay we're coming up to the coast and there's a destroyer here 
and just next to it is a wasp aircraft carrier so they're just on the coast mounting operations so we've got to keep our eyes peeled because we're coming up to the target area there and that's just directly ahead of us now we've got about a hundred miles to close and there doesn't seem to be anything in the air that could threaten us It's time to change formation and we're going to go into a sweep loose formation. And we've picked up a couple of contacts now. There are two SU-27s. And there's also a surface fire missile launch site just to the left of us. I'm going to tell my wingman to engage the hostiles. Which are over here. And I'm going to keep back and just keep an eye out for this air contact just ahead. He hasn't seen us yet, he's facing the wrong way. And our wingman's launching chaff to evade the missiles and with, they've got a lock on us as well so I've launched chaff to break the lock if we look behind we can see our wingman approaching the target I'm gonna swing around as well and close in oh there's a missile that launched at us I'm gonna bank and launch more chaff. chaff. We're not quite close enough. We we need to get in just under ten miles. Shoot. Shoot. And Maverick away. Warning. Sam. Bank away and let the Maverick do the work. You can launch the Maverick in MCON 2, you don't have to go into MCON 3 to launch a Maverick, so you can stay stealthy. And we've got it! Excellent! Right, this SU-27, I think it's on its own. And it's coming, coming about. And our wingman's got the other ground contacts there. If we have a look, you can see the explosions on the ground. Right. I'm going to tell my wing wingman to engage. And we're coming into range with our AIM 120R long range radar guided missiles. Now, this SU 27 is quite high up. He's about at an altitude of 26,000 feet, so we're going to have to gain as well. Just above this cloud level. We're in range, we're going to get MCON 3 and missile away. And a bank away. And jump to the missile. We might have got him unawares. If we follow this missile, there he is. And boom! We've got it! It's exploded! Excellent! Right, it's time to resume on our way. I think that was just a taste of what's to come. 
We're going to go back into MCOM Manual 2. And we're coming up to the kill box. Now I'll check the mission target list and it's a mixture of ground targets and air targets and we'll know this when we when we see them in the HUD display because they will have a T next to their target box and we must destroy them otherwise we won't complete our mission objectives now there's some ground contacts over here and some have got a T designation around their target box and I think that's a MiG-21 there so we've got to take out a couple of these and over here there's a tank and this one has to be destroyed as well I think these must be endangering the F-15 down crews oh there's a missile launched at us I'm going to bank and launch chaff I think we're gonna to have to clear these surface air missile launchers first going to have to draw their fire first before we can get into range I'm going to tell my wingman to engage engage hostile now running in and this one I think has exhausted all his missiles shoot, shoot. we're in range so I'm going to check what this one is, it's an anti-aircraft gun I'm going to have to take all these out I think Now my wingman's just to the left of me Let's see if he takes it out, he's heading towards it I'm going to go in NCOM manual 3 just to draw their fire and look back towards our wingman if we jump to our wingman we can see him under fire he's been hit that was not so good okay we're going to have to just let them go pie and attack these the tanks and Maverick away off they go and we've got them excellent there's more tanks that need to be taken out you can see the little T to the top left hand corner of their target boxes and Maverick away I don't have any more left now, I'm going to have to take anything else out with rockets and cannons which isn't ideal if we follow these mavericks and excellent and there's an anti-aircraft gun over here this is a very dangerous mission We we attacked from two sides here. Engage my target. Now running this is one of the targeted anti aircraft guns. Oh, we're under fire. Oh, we've been hit. So we've got to destroy this one. It's very dangerous to attack it with cannons or rockets. So I hope my wingman's got some Mavericks left to take it out. If I fly around it, I think he's taken it out, so that's that's good. One of the worst things you could do is fly at a anti-aircraft gun and trying to take it out with guns or rockets. That wouldn't be too smart.
Over here there's some tanks over here. It's not essential that we take them out. I'm just gonna check the damage report. We look okay. And there's a missile launched to the left hand side of us. We're gonna break, break right and launch chaff. Right, we need to make our way over here to the last set of targeted targets. And it's very dangerous. This place is crawling with surface-to-air missile launchers. And there's an SU-27 here that's a targeted plane. If I can crawl over here without being taken out, that would be quite good. Now we can wait for them to take off or we can take them out on the ground. I think we should try and take them out whilst they're on the ground. We just need to exhaust these SAM sites of their missiles and then we can have a clear run. Right, we don't have to take out every plane on this airfield. And there's another missile at us. Gonna break hard and launch chaff. Right. I'm gonna get rid of the HUD display and take it out with my rockets. And rockets away. Oh, they completely miss. I need to aim a bit lower. We're going to drop our throttle back. Warning, and rockets away. Warning, That's one down. And another one damaged. Oh, it's very dangerous to do that kind of attack run. Because it's so easy just to hit the ground. I'm going to bank round and have another pass. And there's some more assigned planes here. Oh. I'm going to try and take him out with the least amount of passes as possible. And there's more missiles launched at us. I'm going to just launch lots of chaff. And guns, guns, guns. One down, and another one, fantastic. And there's missiles launched at us, I'm going to launch chaff. And come about, ah, there's another targeted plane here. I'm going to use a bit of rudder. Oh. It was unfortunate we didn't quite destroy it. I think that's the last plane that we need to take out. So I'm going to have another pass. I think we've lost our wingman unfortunately. It's just not possible for him to survive this. Right, we've got him in my sights, and guns, 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 that's it. Fantastic. Right, it's time to get out of here. I'm going to keep low, and just get out of here. There's a 767 over here. 
we won't be attacking that one. Autopilot, this Although it's been hit by somebody. Warning. Sam lock. Right, there's some anti-aircraft guns here. And they're taking some pot shots at us. We're just out of its range. We need to keep high now. And just try and limp back home. There's a little bit of damage on our airframe. And we're going to go into MCOM Manual 1 as there's no one to talk to now. And we've got about half, half a tank of fuel, that should be enough to get us home. One of our engines is damaged. Warning. Sam lock. Right, we're going to head towards the, the next waypoint. There's a lock on us over here and it's just Morning. out of range Morning. for us to view it. Morning. It's launched a missile at us but I think we're in a good place to fool it. So on to waypoint 7 now. It's safe to gain a bit of altitude so we burn less fuel and there's another surface to air missile launcher site just to the right of us I'm going to level out and just fly over these mountains and get over to our landing airfield okay we've come back home now and we've asked permission to land and we've flicked on the ILS landing mode we put our unleashed carriage down and it should be straightforward just line her up and get our speed down to about 150 knots and put our nose up as soon as we're over the runway and touchdown excellent Need, we just need to find a nice place to turn off, so we'll just turn off here. And find a nice place to park up. And this will do nicely just next to this F-15. We'll turn our engines off. Uh, mission goals have been completed excellent well i hope you enjoyed that one until next time bye bye